Hello Facebook and my YouTube viewers. I'm I'm sorry this isn't about Tekken and my hair is the only Tekken content you're getting out of this video. Because I'm a guile main now. No, this is about NDK, uh, aka Nandesu Khan. An anime convention in Denver, Colorado, and I've been banned. Not just this year, but forever. And I'll tell you what led up to it. On uh, September 5th, last year, I bought my pre-registration badge for NDK. The earliest day you can do it, because I've been coming to this convention for a long time. Back when I was at the Marriott Tech Center. Back when there was hotel parking. Yeah, that's that long. So on February 23rd, the hotel link dropped and I got a room for me and my friends. Then on June 27th, something peculiar got posted. On their NDK Facebook group, the admin posted, NDK pre-registration must be accomplished by July 21st in order to remain within the NDK room block. So, in other words, if you reserved a hotel under the convention discount, whoever reserved that room, their name must match a pre-registered badge by July 21st. Already, there's multiple things wrong with this, right? So, a deadline like this is serious. So, if you're staying for a four-day weekend for 800 bucks, and not having that discount effectively doubles the bill to 1600 bucks. But something this serious should be sprung up in less than a month warning. Also, shouldn't this warning be communicated at the very start? Like if you're changing policy, the information needs to be emailed to the people who reserve the room. It needs to be relayed on Instagram, Twitter, their website. The website clearly says we need a badge by the time of the convention, which isn't until September 1st. So, when I brought this up, Andy K replied, The policy was stated on our website at the time the link was released. Well, excuse me, um, the link dropped on February 23rd. The website definitely conflicts this person's 21st of July deadline. So me and other people explained this and screenshot it. And they just repeated their original statement. Other people asked them to screenshot what they were saying from the website and we got no response. A lot of people were concerned because, you know, some people use their middle name or a different version of their name, like Tom, like from Thomas. People, like parents who would reserve rooms for their kids. They're, what about misspellings? Suppose you have an Artist Alley badge with your company name. Will badge rollovers be taken into account? Will people who will be comp badges at the time of the convention be included? If a person get a room after July 21st, can they still get the discount? All these different issues came up, uh, a few people had their question answered, but a bulk of us did not. The ones they did answer, it was just waved off. Almost like a, oh, don't worry, it's fine. It's almost like none of this mattered. So we got this dire situation where people's hotel bill can be doubled and an organization not answering our question. So what do we do? I know I'm in the clear. And I already have my badge, but I saw my friends sharing this post, believing it. And I have an out-of-state friend who was never going to see this. I honestly believe that this wasn't going to go through. But, you know, how was going to confirm it? So, the plan is, reserve a room under a name that shouldn't match any real badge name. If July 21st threat is real and I get my discount removed, then I was wrong. And I will immediately want my friends to check their reservations. If the discount stays, then I'll continuously check on it until the last day to cancel. It prevents them from saying, Oh, July 21st was just a deadline. We are going to remove the discount later. So after July 21st, discount was still there. Three weeks before the convention, I asked him, how's this policy going? And I got no response. Even the original post had more questions coming in and they were still not touching this anymore. Not answering has been the biggest frustration with NDK for anything. A while back, they had a clean room competition and a photo competition. Do you remember who won? I entered that photo contest and then heard nothing from it. I asked twice, once on their Facebook group and another through a direct email and I got nothing. Like. None of this ever happened, and I wasted all that effort. Another example is this hilarious park car situation. 
This Nissan Juke is parked in the fire lane and needs to be moved immediately. The tow truck is on its way to remove your car. I thought this was getting towed, Lamau. The food trucks are actually in the fire lane. More photos confirming that the car didn't get towed. So through this whole thread, NDK just got clowned on. And how many times did NDK respond? So with no answer and the final cancellation date coming up, I canceled Harambe's room. And, and I posted I let them know that the discount was still there. And I told them off about their offer communication. And the response I got was a little unhinged. So they posted this and edited their comments six times over. So after seeing that, I decided to explain this in a nicer tone because obviously they were pissed. And in the middle of writing, so this only shows up if they remove the post or they ban me. And sure enough, they ban me eight minutes after writing that message. I'm glad I caught it in time to screenshot it. Other people caught wind of this and started posting, but all their comments got deleted. And then NDK locked this thread down. Also, sometime between the deadline and con time, they updated the website from this to this. It's very likely they changed it when I started to ask them about an update. Um, I don't usually rag on people's English. I mean, English is my second language. But shouldn't be better care be used for their website? Once the room block has sold out, we have found that the Marriott reservations people like to say that. Start quotations, NDK needs to release, end quotation, more rooms from the block. This is incorrect information. What's incorrect? NDK needs to release? After the block is sold out, there is nothing NDK can do to offer further discounted rates. Well, if there's nothing you can do to offer more discounted rooms, what was the point of all this then? So, I have a few theories on why Harambe's room still had the discount. So number one. They did plan on removing a discount, but somehow missed Harambe and everybody else I knew. Number two, they were going to at one point, but they changed their minds. Okay then, um, shouldn't they have said something? Shouldn't they have been a post saying, NDK attendees, we hear you. This is an unpopular policy and we have decided to extend the deadline to convention time. We'll do better to communicate next time. But this whole debacle was never mentioned again. So on July 21st, on the day of the big important deadline, they posted a picture of a cat. Hi. Number three, NTK had a hotel bill coming up and they needed just a bit more money sometime before July 21st. To me, this is the most likely scenario. I mean, if you rent out a portion of this expensive hotel, you pay for it in installments. July 21st is a weird date because the last day to get a pre-registered badge was August 15th. If this post influenced people to purchase more badges before July 21st, they might have enough money to make their hotel payment. Now, if you go to a con and do a panel, what type of reward do you expect? A comp badge. So at NDK, if you do a 30 minute panel, do you know what you get? Five dollars off your NDK badge. Five dollars. So the next day in my inbox, I get my pre-reg badge email, but at 10 a.m., I got a room cancellation email. The person who runs NDK Facebook group had somehow canceled my room, and I called the Gaylord to confirm over the phone and an email. A NDK staff member did it. So. I am not going to let them get away with that. I know I ticked them off, showing their contradiction, but I didn't think they were going to go through all this. They used my real name on my Facebook profile to hunt me down and cancel my room. So I got another room as a normie and try to reach the members of the board. Only one person responded and I had to explain to them what that July 21st deadline is. They mentioned to me that they didn't go through NDK social and they kind of had no idea what was going on. So I made a PowerPoint presentation and I headed to the hotel. I planned on showing my badge QR code and if that didn't work, I was going to speak with a board member. But 
Well, when I pulled the email for the QR code, I saw an email from director Amanda Lieberman. I was permabanned. And it was mostly chastising me for using a fake name to reserve a room. And it's all here in red. They lightly touched on the July 21st situation, but wouldn't confirm or deny it. Like, they don't want to even want to get into it. The kicker is... We are aware of the room you booked outside of the discounted block, and for now, we have told the Gaylord that you can keep it. Oh! Oh! Thank you! I'm, I'm so glad that you have allowed me and my fellow normies to stay at the Gaylord because you are a generous god. This, this kind of peeved me that the Gaylord would tell other people that you're staying there. Like, you know, if my ex asked that I was staying there, you know, are they gonna tell her? So, I was telling a friend what happened and they told me, oh, that person who runs a Facebook group, the secretarial duties for Amanda. So, when I heard that, like a relief washed over me. Like all this time, I thought I could fix this by exposing the situation to the board members. But hearing that, that means they didn't care. They never cared in the first place. And the more this gets buried, the better for them. So what did I do? I told everyone to get their food delivered. Yes, another post made by NDK on August 23rd stated that Uber Eats, DoorDash, Lyft Foods, Pizza Parlors will not be delivering to the hotel that weekend. Oh, and here's the menu for our cafeteria. Well, did that mean there was no food deliveries? Oh, are you the DoorDash? Oh, that's me, it's Winston. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you very much. The Uber Eats? Uber Eats by chance? Cool. The thing is, Andy K said it was not them, nor the hotel that caused this. It's you. Because of last year and the bad reviews you gave them, this is your fault. On Friday, I ordered Grubhub. On Saturday afternoon, I got DoorDash. And then finally, I got Uber Eats on Saturday night. All my friends who ordered delivery got their food. So I also have three possible theories for this. One, all the food delivery places really did come together in an alliance to not deliver food to NDK. My fellow DoorDashers, Uber Eats drivers, Grubhubbers, for a long time we have been insulted by these fiends we call we abuse. We shall ally with each other to make these nerds hungry! Which weekend was it again though? July 21st? And number two, NDK forbid the delivery companies from coming, but they came anyways. All right, I think this is your order. So here you go. And uh, I, I was never here. That's a, that's an interesting thing to put on a body pillow. And I know it's a slim chance, but you know, just in case, that's why I censored the delivery driver's names. I don't want NDK's vengeance to reach those guys. And number three, NDK needs the money. So please spend at the cafeteria. And this theory coincides with the earlier theory that NDK needs the money. I mean, the parking situation is awful. And if you left to get food, you're going to lose your spot and you have to take a bus from a different parking lot all the way to the Gaylord. If people are incentivized to buy NDK cafeteria food, then they can have more money for their future bills. Now, the thing is, this worked. This worked really well, because I talked to multiple people about the July 21st deadline and whether they knew they could get delivery. So all five still had their hotel discount, of course. So there you have it. I saw a contradiction, I raised the issue, and I got banned for it. I kind of do expect an official response, but they 
probably won't touch the July 21st issue because they could be financially liable for it. It will probably be super vague and heavily rely on me having a room under a fake name, just like Lieberman's email did. Now there's a chance that for some of the board members, this is the first time they're hearing any of this. And in all honesty, other than making one of them really mad for calling them out publicly, I think the reason why they came down so hard on me is because of money. It takes money to have a hotel block for a convention, and because I used one to put them in their place, they got super mad. And for people who are upset that I took that one room that you could have gotten, remember NDK was going to remove the discount from that room so other people can use it. The whole thing could have been avoided if they never posted that. LOL did anyone actually get their room released for not having a pre-reg badge? Even if they said we are changing the policy from what we originally posted, I would have let that go. So I don't have a call to action about this. I just want to let everyone know what happened. I mean, this video should be public, so if you want to go share, go right ahead. I don't know if they're going to try to like copyright strike it, so you can even download it and re-upload it wherever you like. I don't have to bow my head, I just have a heart that cares for others. I saw the panic that it caused over something that didn't even come to fruition. And to the people who bought the badge earlier than they wanted, or the people who didn't even try food delivery, so they bought hotel food, they got you. They got your money. So I'm closing my book on NDK. I'm currently working out my fingers for the Keyboard Olympics when the out-of-state cons have their hotel links open. I know that getting a non-discounted room at the Gaylord was expensive, but don't worry, I got that covered. Because this video is sponsored by Rage.